I can't be the only one who's noticing all these creators start their own creator products. I feel like I'm seeing a new one get started every single week. If you don't believe me, February 13th, Ryan Trahan announces Joyride Candy brand. On February 26th, I saw that Ninja announces Milk brand. On March 4th, I saw that Sidemen announced a cereal brand. What the fuck is going on? Welcome to Monday Mornings with Kyle Reed, the only weekly show where the only product the host is going to try to sell you is his brand new single that just got released on all streaming platforms. You can listen to it, link in the description. There's also a link to a music video that I made. Go check it out if you're into like some experimental vaporwave type stuff. Creator products isn't like a new thing. Like of course creators always been trying to sell like merchandise. I even remember way back in the day, Ryan Higa made Ninja Milk. That was like the first like actual like creator product that I, that at least I can remember. Maybe there were some earlier ones, but that didn't end up going too well. That, that company shut down. They're no longer in production. I'm pretty sure it's discontinued. The most significant one of course is Mr. Beast with his Mr. Beast Burger and his Feastables product. That was the pivot point, right? Once Mr. Beast launched a chocolate brand, all these creators were like, fair game, all right? Like, we can do anything, we can sell anything. It comes off really weird to me, okay? Because on one hand, Mr. Beast can sell chocolate because he's like, he's fucking Mr. Beast, right? He's so popular where he can really sell anything. Ninja making a milk brand? I don't know, it comes across strange to me because it's like, unless Ninja's drinking a glass of milk during every single stream, I don't see the connection there. And I honestly don't even see the connection in Mr. Beast and chocolate. I think the only reason why Mr. Beast like why it, like it, it makes sense of why Mr. Beast can make a successful chocolate brand is because pretty much every child in the world knows who Mr. Beast is. But even then, even with how successful Mr. Beast is and how famous Mr. Beast is, even he has a 50% success rate on all the creator brands that he's started. Honestly, when you think about it, it kind of is a smart move for a creator to start some sort of company that can outlast them and kind of outgrow them as a individual entity is a very smart thing because newsflash, your favorite creator is not gonna be creating content and and 10 years from now. It's just, it's a hard thing to do for a long time. So Mr. Beast starting Feastables, you know, makes sense. You know, that's something that I could scale past the Mr. Beast brand. The only unfortunate thing is that I don't think a lot of these creators that are starting these creator products, I don't think they have the same sort of pull that, well, obviously they don't have the same sort of pull that Mr. Beast does. And I don't think they're gonna see the same success that he's seen. And I don't think they're gonna be able to grow the brand past their core audience. I have a theory where a lot of these creator products and these creator brands are gonna see their highest year of revenue gain within the first year. It's a new thing, all their fans are gonna be wanting to try it, and then of those people who try it, there's going to be a small selection of people that think it's good and they're just gonna keep buying that product. However, when it comes to scalability past that, it's very hard to compete with a lot of these big name brands. As much as I love Ryan Trahan, and I think it's kinda cool that he's doing candy, when I think of Ryan Trahan, I don't think of sour candy, and when I'm gonna go to the store and I want sour candy, if I'm seeing Sour Patch kids next to a pack of Joyride candy, if I don't know what Joyride candy is and the face behind Joyride candy, I'm gonna go for the Sour Patch Kids because I know what Sour Patch Kids are. Not every creator product succeeds. Pokimane is a great example. This is a very recent example of a creator product that has failed. It might have been like not because of the product itself and more so of how Pokey was trying to um, advertise the product. There were some things that were said that she probably should not have said. But even then, I think she would have a very tough time trying to scale that product past our core audience. Another problem that I think I'm seeing with these creator brands is that to me at least, it comes off as very inauthentic. These creators obviously are seeing the success that Mr. Beast is having with Feastables and they're going, how can I do this myself? What product can I sell that no other creator is selling right now? And it leads to stuff like Sidemen making cereal. I don't watch the Sidemen, so I don't know how in tune they are with cereal or how, how much they implement cereal into their videos. I would assume Sidemen and cereal are two very disconnected things in terms of content and audience. As much as I hate Logan Paul, I think Prime itself, Prime Water, Prime Energy Water, whatever the fuck it is, I think that's a very smart product for Logan Paul and KSI. Not only do they have large audiences, they've kind of positioned themselves in this kind of fitness niche almost with like their boxing matches. I mean, KSI has been doing soccer videos for a while, so like people can already associate them with fitness and wellness and so launching a fitness adjacent product made a lot of sense to me and they're doing a lot of really smart partnerships that coincide with their individual brands as a creator. It makes it feel very authentic but going back to Sidemen and their cereal brand 
What are, how do you, like, I don't know, how do you associate Sidemen with cereal? So that's why authenticity, authenticity in the product that you're trying to sell as a creator is a very, very important thing. As much as I love Ryan Trahan, I think he's a very smart creator, very great guy, very nice guy. I'm not trying to have this come off the wrong way. I didn't know that he had an obsession with sour candy until he made Joyride Candy. We're seeing so many creator products get made here. And then my prediction is that in five to 10 years, a lot of these brands that are being started right now by the creators are not going to be around. I'm all for creators la launching their own businesses and their own brands. I think it's a very smart thing to do as a creator to try to make a company that can outlast you as a creator. I think at the end of the day, it just matters of like how authentic is the actual product to the creator. I think that's going to determine the success of the product or also just how big the creator is because Mr. Beast can probably sell anything. Honestly, chocolate was was like the first thing that probably came to his mind. <laughs> if Ryan Trahan would have made a like a drink company named like Fun Drink or whatever he calls the like soda Fun Drinks, right? That would have been smart. Ryan, have you thought about that? That'd be smart. I will leave my Instagram in the description and you could reach out to me and uh, we can talk biz. However, I would be hoping for 50% of that company because I came up with the idea. I'm not hoping these creator-led products fail. I'm just saying, I think they will. <laughs>